close to all. The first two baby shells that I have had were fixed pressure shunts. <clears throat> And I've had them for a few years. Each shunt was placed in my body for at least 10 years minimum. So to some degree it feels like my body has grown accustomed to how they feel in my body. Despite the fact that uh, they were functioning well or not, but as a general feeling to have a device in my body, the feeling of discomfort was minimal, to say the least. I would sleep on the side of the shunt with almost no trouble, sometimes it would be troublesome to some degree, but um, nothing more. However, as I've had those chance malfunction in my late twenties, they switch to programmable chant. First two strata, and the first two were on the right side. So the strata was placed next to an old programmable VP shunt without the removal of the first VP shunt, the previous one, because it was in my body for. I think 16 years, something like that. So I had two VP shots and I was able to actually separate the tubes with my finger, putting my finger in between and separate them. And the feeling of the programmable shunt was very, very, very different as a feeling of having a foreign device. The reservoir felt bigger. The tubing felt weird and painful to some degree. And I was like trying to give it to the benefit of doubt, like this is a new surgery, I will get accustomed to it as time goes by. And then this shunt malfunctioned within few months due to infection and they had to do an externalization of the shunt and switch from the right side to the left side. So, three surgeries were made on the same side, which is the right side, and then when they switched to the left side, I still had my old programmable disconnected VP shunt, but without the catheter, but the tubing was still inside, because if they have removed it, they could have caused me internal damage and bleeding. <clears throat> so when they moved to the left side that had no shots prior to that. When I woke up from the surgery, the pain was unreal to say the least. It felt like my skin was raptured from within, like somebody torn apart all my skin and the shunt starts, the catheter starts from the brain, behind the ear and then to the front, 
and all the way to the abdomen. So from my skull all the way to my abdomen, it was painful like I've been ripped apart alive, like somebody is cutting with a knife. It felt so uncomfortable. It was very painful. It was like my skin is being ruptured and it felt like there was a knife and Sorry, I was trying to tell my doctors, like, is this natural? And they were like, no, yeah, yeah, it's okay, it's a major surgery to some degree at that point. Your body needs to get accustomed to that. And I was in so much pain, I couldn't even move, I couldn't breathe, not just because of the incisions, but even because of the tube. I of time to get used to the feeling of this tubing. And that lessened to some degree over the months. However, when it came to the catheter itself inside my skull, that did not improve. I kept feeling that there was a knife and I could not sleep on that side. It felt so tender. It was like... My skin is so tight, it's so tight over the catheter, over the device itself. And I was telling my doctor this, um, again they shrugged it off, telling me, you'll get used to it. Again this shunt malfunctioned and now I have lost the count of how many times it has malfunctioned and I'm not even talking about the adjustments of the settings on the pressure, I'm talking about surgeries. They revised it again. I had the same feeling and then revised it again and again and the last time was with different model. And I still had the same feeling of there's something weird in my body. I'm not getting used to the feeling. I cannot sleep on the side where my functioning shunt is. I can sleep on the other side where it's disconnected. I still have the tube without the catheter, but not on the side where my functioning shunt is. However, when it comes to the tubing under my skin, the feeling got better. However, again, as I have lost a lot of weight, every time somebody hugs me or would try to do a little push or something, or they would attempt to put their hand on my shoulder or next to my neck, it startles me to some degree because it's painful. I would rate that pain from 4 to 5, so it's not much, but the feeling of anxiety is more, and it's sickening to some degree, it makes me feel nauseous to be touched around the tubing, but when it comes to the catheter in my skull, the feeling of discomfort has never resolved, never ever, even if I'm not sleeping on it, even if I'm just like is talking, I need to turn my head from left to right. The feeling is so unnatural and it aches and it feels like there is something weird happening. And I cannot say this is because of weight loss, but it's by the fact that the device is exactly like having, it's 
as flexible as your headphones, your normal headphones, and I've seen the device when I had the external shunt. It's very flexible, it's made out of silicon, I think. It's very, very painful. Uh, my issues with the, with, the, with the discomfort and the pain were lost when I weighed more, and I cannot even sleep on my chest, not just on my head. My head had a lot of surgeries because of the infections. Uh, but when it comes to my chest and neck, I also have incision on my neck. And the reservoir itself is, is the biggest problem, I would say, because it feels big and the programmable reservoirs feels to me, maybe that's not true, but it feels to me that they are bigger than the fixed valve shunts. They feel bigger, it took more time to heal from the surgery, it felt like my skin was going to rapture on the device, and I was thinking, will I wake up tomorrow after surgery to see that I'm all bruised all over the device, or will I have trouble Having bleeding over the device, this is how painful it was that I felt like it would cut through my skin. That didn't happen. All the pain that I felt was internal. So, I'm sorry this is not very comforting, but having a baby shunt is not really compatible. Maybe it is how, what, how it is inside my body as one doctor suggested that the tubing was <clears throat> stitched very firmly inside my body that it caused me neck problems that was so hard to turn my head left and right. So it would not uh, move inside my body. So I really don't know, maybe that's the problem. But this is my own personal experience. And I'm not gonna even talk about how noisy those devices are. I made a short about them. I wish you all to be safe. Thanks for listening. Have a good